Hello everyone, as you can see, that is this S-shaped cut in this leather piece and so we'll be stitching it up. To start off with, make these horizontal stitches throughout and then afterwards, once you're done with it, then slowly begin to go backwards as such. Go backwards in this V-shaped design and then go in each of the levels that you've created. Now this is what it should begin to look like as you continue to do so. Now once you reach the end of it, then you may tie a knot to it so that it stays fastened in its place. Now make sure that you're precise with each of the levels and then finally, this is what it should look like. Next, we'll start off by taking this small tear and then afterwards make these markings out of a pen to it. You're shaping it like a leaf as such to make it decorative. Now, take this green thread, push it through, start at the top tip. Now, slowly begin to make these vertical stitches to it and then go horizontally as such. Now, go in this downward facing V shape and then afterwards continue to do so until you reach the bottom. Now, as you move from the top to the bottom as such, the hole that is present will slowly get covered up and then it'll form an entire leaf shape. Make sure that you go as per the lines of the markings that you've created as well. Once you're done with it, you may also also make a little stem at the base as we have done so and then tie a knot. Now take this pant leg and then lift it up. In order to make it shorter, we'll start off by making this running stitch to it as such. You're going from one end to the other as such, push it all the way through. Now as you're pushing it through, then continue to do so. Now as you can see, we will be going an entire circle to it. As we are going the circle, make sure that you do it as evenly as possible and then as narrowly as possible as well so there is not much gap. Now bunch all of it together and then afterwards continue to do this. Now after you go the entire circle, bring it back down and now it should look like this. In order to bring in or rather keep the other part of it together, then you may take this other thread and then slowly begin to stitch it according to this. As you can see, we are making this loop stitch to it. Insert the needle through it and then wrap the thread around it and then afterwards, stitch it through. Afterwards, go backwards and then you will not be able to see the stitch. Afterwards, tie a knot to it. Next, take this bra hook and then afterwards, put it on two of the parts of your jeans in order to make it all the more tight in case it is not fitting properly. Now, stitch it onto it. As you can see, we have put on the hook and now put the other portion of it as well onto which the hook will fix itself. Now, after this, you may tie a knot to it once you're done with it and bunch it up together. Now, you may put it into place as such. It should cover a large gap. Next, we'll start off by taking this jeans material and then afterwards, take the pant leg portion of this. Fold it over ever so slightly narrowly and make about three of these and bunch it up. Afterwards, take your thread and then put the needle and then push it through as such. Now, stitch it up together and as you're stitching it up together, push it all the way through and then loop the thread around it on either side of it. As you're looping it, do it alternatively so on either side. Continue to do so until you form a decent amount of it. Now, as you can see, this is what it should beginning to look like and then it should bunch up as such. Now, afterwards, you may add a little pearl in the middle and then continue to do the same process, make it as even as possible. Now pull the needle through and then use this bunched up portion in the front as such. Tie a knot to it once you are done. This will be a designer way to bunch up your jeans. Next, in order to cover up this tear, we'll start off by making this running stitch vertically through on either side of it to begin with. Now do the same downwards onto this side. Slowly begin to go diagonally through each of these stitches. As you can see, we are going backwards. Now go from the bottom most to skipping one and going alternatively as such. As you are doing so, then it'll add more denseness to it and then make it all the more fastened in its place. Thank you for watching.